Okay, it's like 3 o'clock, so I'm just going to say this right here and now. This movie right here is absolutely overhated. I'm, I'm going to be real with you right now. Listen, when I watch movies, TV shows, anything, I always put blinders on. You know, I don't, I don't, I, I want to make sure I have an experience. And if the movie doesn't give me experience, if it feels weird, then I just don't like it. Simple as that. When I watched the Ant-Man movie, I didn't get any of those feelings because it's not a bad movie. It's not. I mean, it's not good. It's not like Infinity War, Endgame, amazing. But it's 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 not that bad. I honestly think everyone's hating this movie because every single time a movie comes out, everyone's comparing it to Infinity War and Endgame, and it's pissing me off. No one's appreciating good movies anymore. I mean, Love and Thunder was pretty bad. Doctor Strange needed work, but this movie was not that bad. I think this was legit overhated. And the and the acting in this thing was amazing too. Everyone did their part, and I do agree with with everyone would say. Kang the Conqueror, the actor for Kang, carried this movie. But if uh, the sad thing is the actor is going through some legal trouble, I don't know the extent of it, but I know it's like abuse charges, I believe. And I can't say if he did it or not because you know I, I don't know what's going on. I gotta watch the news or look up some articles or something, but. All I can say is innocent until proven guilty because I, I don't know. The point is this movie is not that bad. Seriously, it's not. I feel like people are just over hating. Like everyone doesn't like no one's trying to see the good side of Marvel movies anymore. It's just the bad side because it's not the same as the other movies. And I guess people just don't realize it's not going to be like that anymore and that things are different. But either way, my opinion is that this movie is 7 out of 10. It is not that bad. It's not. And if you have your own opinion about the movie, I want to hear it because I don't think it was that bad. And I'm sticking by my opinion. Anyway, to the action figure review. This was way too long. Okay, that was a long rant. Hey guys, Dylan here. Welcome back to another action figure review. And today we're reviewing the Marvel Legends, Ant-Man, The Wasp, Quantum Medium, Kang, The Conqueror. Um, shout out to GameStop near me because, my god, they, ha they did not have to hold this for me until the release date. But they did, so thank you if you're seeing this. Anyway, before we get into the action figure review itself, we need to get into the origin. This all starts with a man named Nathaniel Richard, a possible descendant of Reed Richard, the leader of the Fantastic Four, or a descendant of Victor Von Doom, aka Doctor Doom. Either way, this person is very infatuated with time travel and wanted to go back in time to do stuff, so he was actually able to do it by making a ship that looks like a Finx and going back in time to try to find Apocalypse before his mutation activated so he could do stuff with that i don't know that was a weird plan anyway the fantastic four found out because they were also time traveling and stopped them at this time he called himself rama tut this was one of his first villain names anyway after that he used this time machine to go forward in time and met up with dr doom he worked with him as well i do not know his villain name when he was working with him but i just do know he was not called rama tut Anyway, after that, he decided to go home, but his machine line function and threw him way forward into time where Earth was destroyed because of war, and there were people there using technology they didn't know about, so he took advantage of that, pretty much conquered that entire timeline, and named himself King the Conqueror. And that's pretty much it. I mean, there is this girl he likes, and he's trying to get this girl to like him back, but it doesn't work out, and he keeps failing, and it's, it's kind of funny, because you should just give up with that. But anyway, that's pretty much his origin. It's like I said, it's like it's four o'clock here. I'm tired here. The painting description of this action figure is without a shadow of a doubt amazing. No, seriously, every single thing about this design and sculpture and the painting, it just looks amazing. I think my one thing is that I wish the arms were a little bit bigger along with the legs, but I still love it either way. This thing's just freaking amazing. Seriously. It, it, like it's just just seriously. Hey guys, um future villain here. And if you got, I just wanted to say that if you guys are noticing something different about the game action figure, like the arms, now as you guys can, oh, as you guys can see from the box, there's this plastic that surrounds this part. Well, that part right there was actually blocking articulation of the arms, so I grabbed my exacto knife and I cut all over it so that the arms could at least go up this far. 
It was way better than it was before because before this this couldn't move at all. And it's kind of sad, but it doesn't look bad. So yeah, I, I should have told you that at the beginning. But um, anyway, back to the review. For accessories, it comes with one open hand and one kind of open hand. I don't know. It is a little weird. He also comes with the combiner pieces for Ant-Man's daughter. I forgot her name, but it comes with her helmet and unhelmet head. It's for the thing. I'm probably just gonna sell these, but yeah, yeah, no, it, they look um, they look good. They got good detail on it, and it looks nice. It does. It's really it, it's nice. Articulation on this guy is actually phenomenal. Now, like I said, I did have to modify this action figure by cutting down the shoulder pieces and messing with the ball joint that connects the lower, um, sorry, upper body. But once I got those things out of the way, this thing just is, is amazing. I don't know why, it's just every, every part of this action figure is just easy to move. You know, I don't have to worry about breakage. It just feels like it's gonna stay together. You know what I mean? And I've never really had an action figure like that in a long time. I mean, this thing is lanky too. Like the legs are wiggly. The lower body is wiggly. This whole thing is wiggly, but it's still pretty good. And I, I do like it. It's nice. And you know, even though the action figure is like, that doesn't mean the action figure is bad. If anything, I, I like them loose like this. At least then I don't have to worry about them breaking. You know, since pinless joints. And anyway, anyway, uh, yeah, articulation's good, good. And now it's time for my rating. For painting and sculpting, this thing obviously gets a star. Oh my god, look at this thing. Like, seriously, it just looks amazing. Like, the, you can't deny that. You can't. For articulation and accessories, I give it half a star. Because though the accessories were a little weird and I had to fix the articulation itself, it's not like the accessories were bad, you know? Sometimes all you really need is just two open hands for really to show how dramatic and evil King is. And for pricing, which is 24 to 25 depending on where you're buying it, I give this thing three and a half stars. Now, I don't recommend it, obviously. The only reason why it has three stars is because of the painting and the sculpture. That's the really, the, the W of this action figure. But the articulation on its own, like if I didn't modify it, it would have never gotten a star in the first place. So I'm not gonna recommend it, but I am gonna say it, it, it is good. It is good. It looks nice. It, it's cool. And it's just King, you know? If you don't got the comic book King, you can definitely pick this guy up because he isn't. He's just. This figure is just not meant to move. Even though it's supposed to, it's just not, you know? But yeah, it's pretty good. But with all that being said, thank you guys for watching. Like this video, give a like, subscribe. And I'll see you guys next time in the next review. Bye. I have. I'll explain all of that next month. Week. Sorry, next week.